Right. I mean, who doesn't love Tommy Wiseau? People who hate comedy. People who hate. You just leave it there. Yep, people who hate. Who doesn't love people who hate? Well, I'm going to play this game now called Past Cure. It looks... It looks. That's as, that's as far as I can say. It looks. It looks. It looks. I am honestly not sure how I feel about this. Whew, bro, I'm telling you. Saturday. Thank God for that. Yeah, whole weekend. For truth. And, dude, that inter I had an interview the other day. I'm so excited. Because I'm, I'm feeling pretty, really pretty well. pumped about it. Yeah, it nice. was great. And dude's from Syracuse. And I was like, oh, no way. Hey, you're from Syracuse. You eat the uh, dinosaur, dinosaur barbecue. barbecue. Hey. Actually, I think I'm going to lay down for a couple minutes, but I'll be back on. Okay, an well, we'll miss you so much. Oh, yeah. I'm literally right here. All right. <laughs> Enjoy your nap. And then there was one. Why is his voice so terrible? Yup, we're gonna turn that up. And cut scenes a little bit higher. Alright. Cool, just waking up upside down in a... I don't know, apartment? What is this contraption? What? What is that face? Like he's got a fart, but he doesn't want to shit his pants? Where this game okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no. That was close. It's so close. What the hell is this game? Okay. This is just teaching you how to shoot.
Come on, bro. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no. What a twist. Two dudes. There must be a way out. Oh, I goofed. Am I about to run out of bullets? Oh no. Kobe. I'm back to where I started. Freaking. Oh, here we go. There's too many of them. Freaking shut up, dude. Dabbing on them. Fidget spinners and dabbing. Rolling blunts. Or smoking my jewel with all the hip kids. So hip. I'm. Uh, am I supposed to die? Literally about to run out of ammo in this game. Nope, that's it. Great. <sighs> that's delicious. Oh, man. Oh, something's coming. It's a glitch in the Matrix. a headache. Migraine. It's menopause. Man, I'm just flying with these jokes right now. You tell me? Am I? Am I dead? I have never seen anything like this before. <laughs> okay. It's so empty in here. I'm 10 minutes into this game. What is that? It's okay, Ian. Come over here. She knows my name. Hello! Ian, hurry up. There is not much time. It must be a way out. Please, wait there. I'm coming. It's like four steps, dude. Oh, yeah. Great.
Oh, there's a punch button. There's definitely not a sprint button. But there's a crouch button. She'll never see me coming. Please, Ian. You have to hurry. I can't let her leave. Come on, Ian. Quickly. I'm sorry, Ian. No! <laughs> Got him! Ian, you rascal. This is how the nightmares end. Overpowered. Helpless. A sacrifice to violent gods. I'm sorry. Different color eyes. Where the hell did she come from? I'm super unique. I need some water. Eighteen months of nightmares. Ever since I escaped from that hell. Eighteen months. Relentless. Unchanging. And suddenly her. She wanted to take me somewhere. What pulled her away like that? You have a TV and a chessboard. My P. I think I already see it's going to say wake up. Did my face shape just change? What are you doing here? Hey, who? What the fuck is going on? Wait. This is just a hallucination. None of it's real. Get your medication, and this will go away. What the? Okay. Oh no. Just fucking mannequins. These are the antagonists of the game? They're not real. Keep it together, Ian. Mannequins or the aliens from Prometheus. Where are your blue pills? The <laughs> face it's, you have one pill bottle. That's better. Okay. So you have health and sanity. The blues. Now that's what we call them. Marcus source them on the dark web. But they're the only things that help keep me sane. Cool. What's up, Marcus? Marcus. My brother from another mother, Marcus. What? Not good. Nightmares. Hallucinations. Both. But this time it was different. There was a woman, Marcus. Do you know her? No. But she seemed... familiar. Like I should know her. Do the pills still work? 
Yes, thank you. Not only yeah. for this, for everything. Yeah. I mean it. I turned up out of nowhere with the weirdest story and you believed me. You took me in, let me stay in the beach house, got me medication. You're my brother, Ian. There's nothing in the goddamn world I wouldn't do for you. Nice. Thanks anyway. Thank me later. Bros Have a for life. life. I found a trace. The man who took me? There's a traitor trying to sell a remarkable drug. It's called Nexus, and it's supposed to give the user certain abilities. He's selling to a pretty shady organization tomorrow morning. Cool. Give me his address. They rented two floors of the Crowley Arms, downtown. The place will be brimming with mercenaries, Ian. I don't care. If he's the lead, I'll be there. Are you sure you can control it? Yes. Good. I will keep on digging and send you the information tomorrow. Rest now. Take the blues if you need them, and gather your strength. We will bring them down, Marcus. We will burn them to the ground. Good night, Ian. Good night. Good night, Marcus, my buddy brother. Out of the ruins of World War II arose another battle. An arms race began, with each side employing the brightest. What? and most ruthless scientists to develop a new weapon, the human mind. With government backing, projects like MK Ultra gave birth to a dark age of science. Inhumane experiments were conducted on prisoners, students, and even children. Their goal, unlocking the hidden power and potential of the mind. Most were shut down from their dangerous methods and lack of success, but there are many who believe that they were continued in secret, financed by private organizations hungry for the promised powers. Powers attained through pain and suffering. Okay. Turning men into monsters. I'm cool. I'm ready. Welcome to Past Cure. Have a care.